okay, so so you're a writer. So you'll get this, and you won't think I'm strange. Probably won't think I'm strange. I have wanted to do this episode of Fifty Eight Keys for weeks, and I couldn't because I just could not find a title for it. Okay, slightly strange, but you've done the same thing. So the fact that hello, here I am, it means yes, I've got a title, but it's the dullest title in the land. This Fifty Eight Keys is about file management. Are you still watching? I, I, let's let's do this, okay? Because I, I promise that this is useful. I, I vow that there are four Mac apps here and one iPad one that if you don't happen to know them already, could be an absolute boon for you. And in return, I need you to come up with a better title than file management. You wouldn't think it'd be hard, would you? Uh, but you what, if you do that, uh, say in the comments, if you come up with a better title for it, well, then I'll change the title of this video and pretend it was my idea. Deal? Hello, I'm William Gallagher, and this is 58 Keys, which, as ever, as always, is for writers like you and me who use and who write on Macs and iPhones and iPads. I do subscribe or support 58 Keys on Patreon because there is so much to talk about and sometimes surprisingly so. Here's the thing. Uh, quite recently, I was sent a new Mac app called Fover. Um, it's like Fever, but starting F-O, F-O suddenly seems re re focus, William. What Fover does is uh, let you move files around your Mac. You've downloaded a PDF, right, you need for research for your novel. Having Fover means you can just drag that PDF up to the Fover icon in the menu bar and then use it, use that Fover app to pop that document into the right place for you. I like Fova, but it's similar to Drop Zone, which actually I already have and didn't remember that I, well, I just don't remember to use it. Uh, it's similar to, to Yoink, which actually I did know as an iPad app, but it turns out well, I've already got it on the Mac as well. And then does this happen to you? The more you look into something, the greater, yeah. I realized I already have something that does exactly the same as Fover. All of these, Fover, Drop Zone, uh, Yoink is one called Drop Over, and I mean, just doubtlessly many others, they all do the something similar thing. And they do this similar thing to what another app does that I do always remember, that I do always use, and that I am gonna end up recommending to you. But the thing is, I don't use it for this. Yeah, right. I was going to, do you know, I wanted to leave you hanging there, a bit of suspense, a bit of drama, but now I can see in your eyes, you're just going to skip to the end, aren't you? The app that I'm going to recommend over all others in this particular field is Default Folder X. And it is X, not 10. I remember checking a few years ago. Yeah, but just don't tell Fovo, Yoink, Drop Zone, or Drop Over yet that I'm going to go that way because they do each have a lot to like in them. So let me show you them all, please, quite quickly, but I'd like you to see them all. Uh, starting with Drop Zone, as that, that feels like the first of this genre, or at least it's a long-standing one, or at least maybe it's just the first one I'd heard of. Drop Zone sits in your Mac menu bar, and if you drag a file up towards that icon, you get this drop-down panel pane. Uh, yours is going to look different to mine, everyone's looks different to everyone else's, but everyone also has these uh, three sections. Starting from the bottom, it's easiest, uh, you have a list of apps and you could drag the icon onto one of those. So if it's a document, you could drag it onto the pages icon or something to have the document open in that app there. It's fine. In the middle, there's a section that well, actually can also have apps, but the important thing is that it has folders. Add a folder into here and now you can always just drag a document into that. Whether that folder is open on your desktop, is visible, it's where you remember it was, anything. Uh, drag, hover over the folder, let go, done. Then, lastly in Drop Zone's main pane there, there is this row. You can add files to it and they stay there until you drag them off to somewhere else. So that's uh, moving files to folders, that's opening documents in apps, there is a little bit more. Drop Zone also has a series of actions that you can add which includes run a shortcut. Um, I have an image folder right, that gets emptied every night because it just fills up otherwise. It is automatically deleted by Hazel, the app Hazel. Anything in there that's older than a day is gone unless it's tagged with green. 
drop zone lets me just drag a file up to that shortcut action I've created and it gives that file a green tag. Drop zone 4 costs $35 or you can subscribe to it for $2 a month. Um, it's also available on Setup which is where I use it from. Uh, Setup is a service that gives you full use of over 200 Mac apps for one monthly subscription that starts at $10. Thing is, even if you happen to have never heard of Drop Zone before, well, you now know it. And what's more, you now know what all of these kinds of file management apps are like, what they do and, and how they work. Even you know it all. I think as long as an app works well, there comes a certain point when the difference between a few of them is personal preference. Uh, plus, OK, any unique feature that the app developer can think of and wedge in. With the newest one of these, Fova, well, it, yeah, again, it works exactly like Drop Zone, but as well as looking different, I think it tries to solve certain slightly extra problems. Um, I should say, I bought Drop Zone through Setup. Like I say, the Mac version, I bought it, well, I got it through Setup as well. I directly bought uh, Yunk for the iPad, and I have now many times bought Default Folder X for Mac, uh, you know, over the many years, the many upgrades. So, but with Fova, I was sent it to review for free. And then with Dropover, by the way, just to complete the thing, get it out of my head, I've been using the free trial of Dropover. I've been trying it for about two weeks just to keep all of this straight in my head. You can't, you can't get rid of one of them. Yeah. Back to Fova. Uh, it too, like Drop Zone, sits in your menu bar. You too, drag files and folders to it. Once it's popped up though, Fova prevents, presents less of an icon view, more straight text. And I think, yeah, nicely presented straight text. And I think it's particularly good for when you want to drag items to a folder and you haven't yet set that folder up as a kind of favorite and you don't even remember where it is because Fova has a nice search option that lets you find the folder you want and then you can drop files into it. Fova costs a yearly subscription of uh, five pounds or five dollars. There is a, a one-off lifetime purchase option, which in the UK where I am is 18 pounds. Uh, the app is so new that details like that are changing and I don't know a US price for sure yet. But overall, so far, I like this app. I do also though like how it's kind of reminded me of, of the genre. Really. I like how it reminds me how quickly I can schlep files around because I do have to move them around. Uh, every week, for instance, um, on a Thursday, I create a couple of temporary versions of a podcast and I save them in a folder I call the staging area. And then when the next steps are done, I move the files to a TX folder ready to go. But that means in my usual working Thursday, having the staging area folder and the TX folder open, where with Fova, drops in or any of these, I can just drag the audio up, drop them, knowing they'll be where I need them to be later. Yeah, no, I keep saying you drag up to these things, but actually with Yoink, let's do Yoink next. You drag to the side instead. That doesn't seem like a big difference, but you, know, uh, you can change actually as well where you drag to, but by default, what happens is once you start dragging any file on the Mac to anywhere, the Yoink shelf appears at the far left. Um, on the iPad, you can have it full screen or split screen or slide over on either side you like a screen, whatever, not top and bottom. It's good that Yonk is on the iPad and the iPhone as well as the Mac, but actually that's something that I think could, should be more useful. Right now, you, it doesn't appear that you can drag a document onto Yonk on the Mac and then drag it off on your iPad where you want to work on it. The thing is, in theory, there is a way to do this. Um, using the Mac and the iPad's handoff feature but everything I read about it seems clunky and, and I can't say more than that because I just couldn't get it to work. Plus because it is handoff what that's saying to me is well Apple's handoff I might as well use built-in airdrop so I do if I'm moving between machines. You should also definitely definitely be able to use your between the iPhone and the iPad drag one on one drag the file off on another but I'm clearly doing something wrong there as well because it doesn't work for me either. Still Within the iPad and within the Mac, uh, I don't tend to use it on the iPhone, Yoink has proven to be particularly useful in a pinch. Uh, this, I was working on iPad images and just being able to pop them there for a minute and take them off later proved really useful. Yoink is a file management app, but actually it's very specifically a type that's called a shelf app. You put things on Yoink so that you can take them off later. Uh, rather than using a staging area folder, a separate folder, for instance, well, I could just drag those temporary audio files of mine onto Yoink 
and retrieve them later when I wanted them. On the Mac though, having the Yoink shelf open every time I drag anything is a real well true. Yeah. Plus, actually, there was one point uh, yesterday when the Yoink shelf was getting in the way. I was, it was popping up, I was trying to do something under the yeah. Nonetheless, I mean, you can move it, like I say, but yeah, it was a little bit irritating. And nonetheless, it's been a lifesaver on the iPad. So yay for Yoink. Um, yay for Yoink. It sounds like a political slogan, I don't know. Uh, Yoink for Macs available in setup or it costs eight ninety nine. that's dollars or pounds, to buy directly from the developer. Uh, Yoink for iPad and iPhone is a separate purchase that costs $5.99 and again, dollars or pounds. One last app before the one I think rules them all. Each of these is handy, right? Each of them does the same thing. And I think you got it by now what they do, but they do it in subtly different ways. And one very good one I think for this is drop over. Rather than dragging up or even dragging to the side, Drop over lets you do all of this file management shelf stuff by wiggling your mouse or trackpad. You do that and a shelf appears right there by your cursor. You can have multiple different shelves. You can change their color so it's, it's obvious what you're dragging, which to when. I actually found it a little hard to get to work at first. I was wiggling away, not matter, nothing was happening. But if you go into drop over settings, you can turn off the need to also press a key while you wiggle. Please tell me why that slightly crucial fact just isn't mentioned anywhere. And also, maybe more usefully, you can turn up the wiggle sensitivity. And once I've done that, yep, wiggle, there's a shelf. Select something else, wiggle, and there's another shelf. I think you're going to end up with an awful lot of shelving in there. Um, Dropover is uh, free to download and use for 14 days. And after that, actually it carries on working. It just, it makes you wait a few seconds each time you wiggle and want to drag something. Uh, to get rid of that delay and to give the developer some, you know, very well-earned cash, you can buy Dropover for a one-off for 99. And again, that's dollars or pounds. That is such a bargain, that one-off price for that. I mean, actually, that's such a bargain and drop over, I think is such a clever implementation of all of this now that I can wiggle work it. I would be tempted to use it as my sole file management shelf thing app. But then there's default folder X. I think there are some apps that are reason enough just by themselves to buy a Mac. Default folder X is one of them. I mean, I've always known this. I mean, I've had it in my Macs for years. I, I wouldn't have a Mac without it now. And actually, I've even done a whole 58 keys. Uh, all about Default Order X. In fact, in that, uh, I called it a, an essential app for writers on a Mac. Yet, I haven't been using it for any of this. But when you drag a file with Default Order X installed, you can drag it up to the menu bar, just as with all of the others of the apps. And this is what happens. Uh, drag, drop, move, done. And, but then there's actually, there's also more. Open any finder window, click on this default folder X drawer icon, and then every finder window gets a little pop down drawer. Drag a document, any file you like really onto that. And there it stays, ready to be dragged off again whenever you need it. Default folder X is a one-off cost of $40, which does that make it more expensive? Actually, doesn't it make that more expensive than all of the others? May, well, no, not if you count subscriptions, but okay. Um, thing is, I mean, I'm never going to say to you that $40 is a casual purchase, but I am going to say just buy it, okay? Because each one of these apps, uh, so Dropover, Drop Zone, Yoink, Default Folder X, and this new one, Fover, yes, they do the same things, okay? But so actually, while they're different, any one of them could do well for you. It could be worth trying at least a few of them. The thing is, I am I'm now insistent to I'm insistent to the point of being strident that Default Folder X is the best. And that is even though I did tell you I didn't use it for any of this stuff before. I will now, though. You bet I will. Uh, Dropover is clever. I think Drop Zone has that bit about being able to add a ta actions, the adding tags to files and things. But default fault X, it's not like it sat on my Mac doing nothing for years. Uh, 
Watch this, please. Here's uh, the very familiar sight of an open dialog box in Apple. In fact, in this case, it happens to be pages on the Mac, but it could, well, it could be anything. So let's just randomly change it. Here, here's numbers, right? Numbers on the Mac. File, open, or command O. This is what you get on any Mac, unless you have default folder X installed, in which case you also get all of this. Actually, I'm amazed to say this to you. To the left there, that's a shelf. And look, I have been using it extensively for often used documents without even thinking of it in these terms. Um, over to the right is a list of folders. Pick just one of those and you get this. Very, very quick access to every folder on your Mac, just a click away. And like I say, this isn't just in numbers, it's not just in pages either. Uh, it's also, it, well, it's in any app, any app's open dialog box, but it's also not just in the open dialog box, it's in save too. So open or save, every single Mac on the app gets this through default folder X. And that's what I've been using it for. That's what's been vastly, immensely, immeasurably worth more, worth more than the $40 that I paid at least half a decade ago and occasionally upgrade sometimes. Those things you just saw, that's why I usually recommend default fold X to everyone. But now to you, I want to also recommend it as one of these file management shelf apps. I keep saying shelf app. I, I segued subtly over to shelf from file management because, well, yoink, yoink definitely calls itself a shelf app. But also I just really dislike the dullness of the term file management. Yeah. Remember, you promised. Make me a better term for this and I will change the title of this video on YouTube to match. But for now, that's it for this edition of 58 Keys. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself, hey? Write more, including better terms than file management. And I'll see you soon.